guys, it's Monday and I'm going to jump right into the theme because it's long. What have you come to learn about yourself over the last five years? Well, thanks for asking, Millie. This could be a theme in itself, really. Um, I have learned so much about myself in the last five years. I'm such a different person than I was when I was 22, so just finishing college. Um, I've learned that I am incredibly strong and resilient and persistent and goal-oriented. Um, I have learned that pretty much anything is possible when you set your mind to it. And um, I am learning new things every day um, about my field, about people, about living in life, and about being a grown-up. In your opinion, what is the best song to lose one's virginity to? Hmm. Well, Blue Dog Menorah, that's a tough one. Um, I personally am always in favor of something show tuny and upbeat for all occasions, but I am probably in the minority on this one. What do you suck at? Thanks for asking, Homer. I suck at a lot of things. Um, the thing that comes to mind, because it's the answer that I gave when we were playing the Game of Things, is I suck at parallel parking. Um, but there are many things that I am not proficient at. Um, in school, I always studied... Uh, in school, I always struggled with science classes. Um, I don't know whether it's because I am not good at science or because I decided I wasn't good at science and kind of had a block in my mind about it. Because um, I was good at my, I was good at math, which theoretically should have made me good at physics, but I went science. Nope. Um, what else do I suck at? Um, so many things. Uh, yeah, I could spend a whole four minutes just probably listing things that I suck at. Nobody's perfect, and I am. Um, by no means, no exception. What is your favorite musical? And why do you love it so? Please, Jenny, tell us now. Because all of your friends, they want to know. Jeez, Alpha, but what's with the grandstanding? I mean, really, you can't ask a question without getting onto a rafter 20 feet in the air and having your cape flail behind you. Seriously, you can't just ask. Um. What is my favorite musical? I know everybody expects me to say Wicked, um, but I think it's probably Pippin, actually. Same composer, Stephen Schwartz, um, and I just, I love it because it is funny and it is um, enjoyable and it can be done in so many wonderful different ways. What do you tell the crazy gambler at the bar when she bemoans the vagaries of online slots using real money then getting on seven unwanted mailing lists? Sorry, what? Which is your favorite of your themed birthday parties? Well, Effie, that's a good question. But I think that my favorite of my themed birthday parties was my Harry Potter themed birthday party that I had when I turned 25. Um, there was a Harry Potter themed scavenger hunt designed to be muggle friendly. Um, there was um, Harry Potter decor. I got a Quidditch cake. Um, and uh, Alex Carpenter played some Remus Lupin songs in my living room. So I just wish that the, the people who had been there had been more able to appreciate it. Because now, like, all of my friends are Harry Potter geeks. But then a lot of my friends, most of my friends, all of my friends were not. Would you ever work as a clown again? Yes, I absolutely loved being a clown. Um, it was so much fun. The only reason that I left was because driving really kind of uh, got on my nerves. Um, you know, I would get sent all over Los Angeles to do these clown gigs, and um, they were really fun once I was there, but getting there through LA traffic, driving all over the city and not getting reimbursed for gas, like that was really tough, but I had the best boss, and it was just so much fun getting paid to go out there and make balloon animals and play games and just like be a total goofball, which I am anyway. What are you most looking forward to this summer? So I don't really have big plans this summer, but there are two things that I know are happening that I'm really excited for, so I'll tell you about those. Um, the first thing is in June, John is moving to Massachusetts. So clearly that's the thing I'm most excited for this summer. Um, it's going to be rad. I'm very excited. Um, and it's about damn time. Uh, the second thing that I'm excited for this summer is LeakyCon. Uh, we get to do the final battle again. I get to see all of my people. Um, who are coming, and I am pumped for that. Obviously not as good as John moving here, but still very, very exciting and good and fabulous. So, thanks for asking, Harry. When are you going to start your wizard rock band with songs from the perspective of a therapist? Well, Amy, the answer is a definite maybe. I have exactly one and a half songs for Reducio, the wizard rock band from the perspective of a therapist. Um, and I am... Thinking about writing more, I'm definitely going to play on the side stage at Eternitas, which if you guys don't know about Eternitas, you should, and there is going to be a link below in the comments. Um, and 
Um, I have not yet decided whether that's going to be a Reducio set or a Broadway musical filking set or some combination thereof. So maybe I'll write more songs. I haven't, I don't know. We'll see. Would you ever move back to Los Angeles? Yes, Bear, I think I probably would. Um, there are a lot of things I don't like about Los Angeles, things I've never liked about Los Angeles, the superficiality, the traffic, um, the smog, etc. Um, but there are a lot of things I really like about L.A., the weather, the people, not the people on whole, but, like, my friends and my parents. Um, and I miss those things, so, yeah, I guess given the right circumstances, I would consider moving back to Los Angeles. So that is it for questions, and I guess I will see you guys next week. Bye!